What's up, baby? Welcome back to another episode of Evie's Clichés. This is a special episode. Uh, aside from from coast to coast, and of course, uh, the Battle Spot series, which is Do or Die. So today we are actually gonna be doing. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been watching some of the previous videos, and that was actually part of. Uh, I think one of them or a couple of them like two or three of them were from the competition in Facebook and uh, so far we've made it to the semi-finals which is was actually this battle and uh, you're gonna see if I moved on or if I tragically failed upon succeeding to the finals um, but yeah so I'm bringing you there's gonna be two parts to this video it's gonna be round one there's gonna be round two because the rules were to uh, battle two uh, best out of three uh, two out of three or whatever you want to you know think about it or say it but um you know just to just to clarify it was just uh, two battles we can switch out uh pokemon and stuff like that but uh yeah my opponent uh briefly conrad uh thank you if for battling if you're watching this or anything like that but uh gradually and most uh <laughs> I commanded him for all the the, the dust claps that he brings in the see the talent flame <laughs> talent flame was scary looking at it. This, this is by the way an OU tournament uh, you can bring it from you know anything goes from OU and below so there's dust claps talent flame on his side the mega medicham also the cloister the heatran which was also scary uh and galvantula which obviously um is easy easy knowing that it was gonna come up with the sticky webs so knowing that uh, well you know my lead was obvious on my side i bring a zelf uh, conkelder kushoff.conkelda uh shout out to uh goonie for helping me out um you know Help me out transfer moves and all that stuff because you'll see you'll see this con Kelder has you know the obvious knockoff ice punch the mac punch and the drain punch so thank you goonie for that and shout out to uh, also kusha aka dynamic kush for uh you know <laughs> allowing me to have this beautiful name on this pokemon uh yeah <laughs> so we also have muck happy face the muck we have um Arcanine, which is our defensive bulky Pokemon. Focus Sash Gengar, because we just need a huge special attacker that can uh, outspeed most things. And lastly, but not or last but not least, our X Blood with the Scrappy Boom Burst Specs. Ugh, just the Specs. So um, I know we're delaying on this, but we're gonna hit that play button, and you're gonna see what happened and how I was able to deal with such uh, with such threats and or see how my opponent was able to uh, slam me down on the floor and just uh you know kick me in the ground but um right here we do know the obvious uh, uh you know obvious starting was galvantula with the sticky waves but i come out with a self and taunt the crap out of thing knowing that uh I can outspeed, it gave me a huge advantage. Now I was scared of the uh, bug bus, but uh, either way I was easy, ready to take the hit. I do in fact go ahead and go for the self, uh, self rocks as he goes for his uh, volt switch. At this point he could have, if he wanted to, he could have gone for the bug bus and that would have taken me out in one hit KO. Um, but he does switch into Heatran. Now here I was really, really, really confused. Um, he does outspeed and goes for the flash cannon ladies and gentlemen this reveals to me that this pokemon was actually choice scarf and uh, not just a bulky typing so right here gives me the opportunity to come in with kuchov and hit him hard with a fighting move at least that's what i was uh, going for and either way if he wanted to switch out into something i was able to hit it hard um i did kind of predict him to switch out because he didn't want this thing his uh, choice scarfer to uh come out so i did went ahead and go for the knockoff in case something else wants to come in um i do knock out the focus sash uh but but it was weird <laughs> i guess the knockoff wasn't enough to uh killed it and the fake sash does come in and i go for another knockoff i believe just in case it wanted to uh, switch out and use it as death fodder but he doesn't he you just sacks it off comes in with the medichan and i was so scared of it with the cycle boost uh cycle cut i believe wow i'm so bad so i was able to bring in arcanine to absorb the hit because um he is my defensive bulk, plus the Intimidate, as you saw, ladies and gentlemen, on the screen, was able to reduce the stab hit. And let me know, let, um, you guys know that Medicham is just, 
it's no force to reckon with really so psycho cut is gonna inflict damage and it does a lot a lot of damage um, knowing that this is bold and max defense plus uh, the max uh, HP EVs so here comes the heat trend back again obvious play was the earth power uh, because it is the the ground type move and I what didn't want to hit him with a fire attack because obviously the heat trend with the flash fire is there so I'll go ahead and just go for the morning sun through the switching it goes for the earth power and wow ladies and gentlemen I cannot believe that my freaking Arcanine survived so I go ahead and go for the super effective close combat and try to nail this thing but since it's not stab it's not gonna do much to the heat trend uh, unfortunately I mean it does get him on red but right here I was hoping that the extreme speed was going to be able to take it out, but minus attack, minus defense, um, just cuts me down short. The earth power is going to be able to take me out, and uh, unfortunately, that's going to be the end of our beautiful Arcanine, which does put in amazing work. Uh, Could have taken, uh, taken out a lot of Pokemon, to be honest. So, uh, this leads me again to try to scare him out with Kuchov and go for the Mach Punch, just in case he... I mean, I didn't think he was going to switch out because there wasn't no more... Uh, Galvantula and anything else could have taken some huge damage uh, from either the Drain Punch or the Mac Punch. So I just go straight out with the Mac Punch because I knew he was Troy Scarf and I didn't want to risk anything. So he comes out with the Medichan, scare me away again because I am not defensively invested. I am special defensively invested and um, Happy Face does come in to take care of this cycle cut. Um, granted, my... Uh, my happy face is not defensively bulky, but I wanted to come in with a safe switching because um, I could have just stayed in with uh, Kushav. I think he could have taken one hit, but this allows me to come in with Gengar and just take care of this threat. I do have the focus dash on Gengar, so um, he does go for a bullet punch just to get some damage off, but the shadow ball is able to one hit KO this thing, and we're glad we can take care of this thing uh, really, really. So, knowing that we have rocks in the field, Talon Fim is really not a big threat anymore, besides the fact that uh, he does have the Braver, and here's where things just got really intense, because I didn't know whether to bring uh, Kushov, which is weak to a Braver, obviously. Um, Gengar was also gonna die because no more focus ash but we see that talent Flame is dying to the recoil so right here is a big play x Flower comes in we know that this thing is max hp okay so i'm pretty sure i can take a, a brave bird and i looked up calx and a brave bird what if one hit ko it, it's a it's a 83 percent up to 100 percent chance of one hit ko me and i guess the 83 percent chance did kick in uh, i did go for the boom burst but it fell of course because um it was it was just a dead uh it was just a dead um it was just a dead talent flame um he does exert the pleasure pressure <laughs> and i go for the boom burst uh scrappy of course uh, ability which allows me to hit ghost types it goes straight for the willow because obviously uh dust clubs don't really carry much attacks besides uh, nightshade uh willow disable and taunt i believe and since none of those work against me this dust club is a dead dust club so um thank you x Blood, for putting in the work the huge huge work right here so right here it just comes down to this uh, my x does go down to the burn damage, unfortunately, I go in with Kushav the Conkelder, and, uh, my opponent does come out with his last Pokemon, which is gonna be the Cloyster, and, uh, right here, it's just easy peasy, he goes for the Icicle Sphere, as he does outspeed, unfortunately, and, uh, looking at the damage, this does nothing, nothing, ladies and gentlemen, nothing. And let me tell you, this was intense. I was so, so terrified. But I go for the Drain Punch. Super effective and get most of my damn uh, HP back. So that right there, ladies and gentlemen, was the game. Um, I do win the first round, which was really, really interesting. And uh, I was really, really happy to actually get that. Um, thank you, Conrad. And uh, thank you guys from the Facebook community on the, the group that we are in right now. The official Pokemon... Uh, channel group ah sorry <laughs> but yeah thank you very much for that uh that we are gonna be going to round two so um that's not gonna be post commentated that's actually gonna be live commentated because this battle i was actually trying to shoot it live but unfortunately the audio did not get in there and it was sad it was sad i was really really sad but uh thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed this video uh this battle was wow it was just intense uh yes indeed i didn't probably have to switch out into uh 
uh, my happy face muck and all that stuff. But um, there was other plays in there that was just too risky. Uh, they predicted a lot of things in there. But anyways, uh, that's enough for me. That's my time to you guys. And I'll see you on round two. Uh, thanks very much for watching. And like always, just sit back, relax, and game on.